Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Charles and you are watching Charles Salbox TV. So I know you guys have already seen the thumbnail and video title and today's video is all about footwork speed. So how to improve the speed of your footwork. So one of the many attributes in boxing is speed and to have great footwork speed is going to be a utility that gives you good advantages when you are boxing. And that is what we're going to try and focus on within this particular video. Now, obviously, there are a few levels of progression that I'm going to take you through. The first one is going to be a technical analysis of what you're doing with your feet and then a more coordinated drill to help you maneuver in a realistic situation. Then we're going to progress on to a timed and conditioning drill. And then the last one, which I'm going to demonstrate with the help of one of my boxers, is a stimulus or reaction drill. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first drill that I'm going to demonstrate to improve your footwork speed is a more technical drill. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is just two sets of cones. So I'm gonna place this cone right here and then this cone down here. And the first thing you want to do is ensure that you're in the correct stance with the correct weight distribution. From the side, I want you to stand in this particular stance where you've got more weight positioned on the back foot, okay? From the front, okay? You've always got your front toe in line with your back heel, and then you're in this specific position. Now for the technical drill, remember it's all about your footwork. So to have your hands down for this technical drill is going to be okay. So we've got a specific distance and obviously with the technical drill, we're going to position ourselves at one of the cones. Now, all we are doing is improving the technique that we will use when we get down to the specific time drills and conditioning drills and the coordination drills. So all you are doing, you are propelling yourself with the back foot to go forward. You don't want to use your front foot to step forward. You want to use your back foot to propel you forward. So here, boom. And you can see that what the back foot is in charge of is ensuring that I go forwards. The front foot is just ensuring that I'm balanced once I land. Okay, now going backwards, so the front foot will have a responsibility for pushing us back and the back foot will have the responsibility for ensuring that we have balance as soon as we land. So you want to make sure that you take small steps and focus on bringing the heel of the front foot down as soon as you land the front foot. Okay, nice short sharp movements, not too big and just like that. Okay guys, so that was the first drill. The second drill is the coordinated drill. Now within the coordinated drill, I want to coordinate my feet so I move three steps forward and then one step back. And then when I'm going backwards, I'm moving three steps back and one step forward. So this is going to help me in aggressive and defensive situations where I'm looking to counter attack. So I'll demonstrate that now. So I move three steps forwards, boom, 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 and then one step back, boom. Okay, again, one, two, three, one. 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 Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so on the way back, I reverse that. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Ba, 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 ba. 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 One, two, three, one. 
One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Okay guys, so that was the second drill for footwork speed. Now you can improve upon this for the coordinated segment by including pivots, um, lateral movements, and any other type of footwork patterns that improve upon the difficulty of the drill when it comes to coordination. Now we're moving on to the third drill, which is more the timed and conditioning segment. So within this particular part, we want to focus on timing the boxer so that we understand how fast they're moving and then also improving upon the weight that they carry so that it's more difficult to generate the force from the floor to move forwards and backwards. Okay guys, so for the time drill, we'll set up a stopwatch and we want to move as fast as possible between two interval points that we've recorded the distance. Now I want to go as fast as possible using the technical movements that I know, moving forwards and backwards. So we'll go three, two, one, go. Okay, so that would be the drill that you would perform for the time drill. Now for the weighted conditioning drill, we would need to hold a weight like this and we would hold it in the stance position for the conditioning drill. So we would be in this position like this and we'll go three, two, one. And that's our conditioning drill. Okay guys, so this is the fourth and final drill that I'm gonna show you to improve footwork speed. So this is the reaction drill, the stimulus drill. So I have with me one of the boxers from the boxing club, um, Javon, and I'm gonna put a link in the description for his particular channel. So what we're gonna do is, Javon is gonna stand opposite me in his southpaw stance. You can do this southpaw to southpaw, orthodox to orthodox, whatever stance that you have at the time. So it's going to be a partner drill and he is reacting to me trying to touch his shoulders. So I'm going to um, limit this to a shoulder, a lead shoulder to lead shoulder drill. So we're going to stand at arm's length to begin with, okay? And he's going to have his arms down. With my back foot and his front foot are the two things that have to be reactive. Okay, so when I go forwards five times, he has to go backwards five times. But I'm going to do that randomly. So I might go once, pause, twice, pause, and then twice again. Okay, so the drill will follow like this. Boom, ba, ba, okay? Ba, ba, good. Now he has to do it. Okay, so he did six there, so that's the reason why he approached me. So now, that would be the first drill. So I'll, do, I'll run through that again, just so that you guys have a good picture of that. So I'll do five, and then he'll do five. Good. And then also, if his foot steps on my foot, that would be part of the drill. So you want to make sure that the hands away from the shoulders when you're moving away and the feet are not getting tangled. The second part of the drill would be where, again, we're in the stance and then I call out to him how many times I'm going to advance forward with my jab and then he will take over. So I, I would say double, then he would say single, but he's going to randomly put that move out. So he's, um, got me prepared for how many times he will move, but I don't know when he's gonna move. So we're gonna demonstrate that drill for you now. Double. Single. Single. Double. Triple. Double. 
<laughs> <laughs> so I could see there that I was approaching him, but these are the types of drills that you want to bring out to improve your footwork speed, okay? You can see that the hands were down because it's primarily about retreating. In the situation like this, if you're having to block, then it's not attributed to what you've done with your feet. It's because you've moved your feet a smaller distance going backwards. So you would need to improve upon your range to make sure that the distance that you cover moving backwards is sufficient for you to avoid the punch in its entirety. So that's the last drill. So, okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you found it enjoyable to watch and also it adds improvements to your game. Now, obviously, if you have any comments, critiques, and some video suggestions about future videos that you would like me to make, please leave them within the comment section. If you have any friends that you feel this video might benefit, please share the video to them. Obviously, if you've liked the video, it goes without saying, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button to join the community and the notification bell to stay informed of any new videos that I'm uploading to the channel. So until my next video, stay blessed, keep training, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.